praise be to Jesus Dear brothers and sisters today the Catholic Church invites us to celebrate the feast of St John Chrysostom St John Chrysostom was an important early church father He is known for his preaching and public speaking his denunciation of abuse of authority by both ecclesiastical and political leaders the name chrysostom means golden mouth in greek st john chrysostom was born in antioch in 347 to greek parents from syria St John's father died soon after his birth and he was raised by his mother. It is sometimes said that he was bitten by a snake when he was 10 years old leading to him getting an infection from the bite. As he grew older however St John Chrysostom became more deeply committed to christianity and went on to study theology st john lived in extreme asceticism and became a hermit in about 375 he spent the next two years continually standing scarcely sleeping and committing the bible to memory as a consequence of these practices his stomach and kidneys were permanently damaged and the poor health forced him to return to antioch in antioch over the course of 12 years in his priestly ministry st john gained popularity because of the eloquence of his public speaking at the golden church antioch's cathedral especially is insightful expositions of the bible passages and moral teaching the most valuable of his works from his period are his homilies on various books of the bible He emphasized charitable giving and was concerned with the spiritual and temporal needs of the poor. He spoke against abuse of wealth and personal property. Do you wish to honor the body of Christ? Do not ignore him when he is naked. Do not pay him homage in the temple clad in silk only then to neglect him outside where he is cold and ill clad he was said this is my body he is the same who said you saw me hungry and you gave me no food and whatever you do to the least of my brothers you did also to me what good is it if the eucharistic table is overloaded with golden chalices when your brother is dying of hunger start by satisfying his hunger and then with what is left you may adorn the altar as well he founded a series of hospitals in constantinople to care for the poor many pagans converted to christianity as a result of his homilies such straightforward preaching helped st john chrysostom to gain popular support from the common people in his sermons he fearlessly condemned against the dissolute lives the excessive luxuries 
the vanities of the imperial court after hearing his sermon many people often moved to shed tears frequently applauded him even in the church at the same time he gained many more enemies as the result st john chrysostom was summoned to constantinople to answer certain ecclesiastical charges and was sent to exile many attempts made to bring him back but failed and john was again banished to armenia the causes of st john's exile are not clear though jennifer barry suggests that they have to do with his connections to arianism st john chrysostom wrote letters which still held great influence in constantinople as a result of this he was further exiled he never reached his destination as he died on 14th september 407 during the journey his last words said to have been glory be to god for all things st john chrysostom prayed for us live jesus through our lives